All right, welcome back to another video. Uh, it's the next day. Uh, I made the video, the previous video yesterday. I'm coming here now. If you remember, I put an extra couple of hundred gallons of fertilizer in here. I'm glad that I did because, also pardon for the wind, I'm glad that I did put that in there because now it's next to, or very close to empty. Uh, you got to really want to suck it dry, but this is now done fertilizing. The pivot is now around, so I'm going to turn it off. So this is now off. I'm also going to turn off the pivot while I'm at it. So I do have to turn that off. We're not going to be fertilizing for a while, so I'm going to close this valve right here. It sounds like the water's flowing back in the well. There you go. Now that check valve closed right there. It should be good. Now I'm gonna just turn off, or I have the foiler with me. I'm gonna drive all these wells around, turn off all the rest of the wells, turn off the pivot, because we don't need to be watering it now for a while. And then I may or may not grab this fertilizer pump and move it to the next field, but I'm gonna double check, make sure there are fertilizer pumps there first before I move it. So I'm just gonna leave this here for now. Might come grab it later. But I'm going to take the folder now, drive a few wells around, turn off the pivot. And off. Alright, on to the next one. I'm here at this field right here. Uh, this pivot was actually facing that direction yesterday and I put it on reverse wanting to put it with the straight with the rose and I forgot to turn it off so now it's way this way so now I got to put it back on forward put it with the rose I want to turn this pivot on today I do have to finish connecting this hose the pump is connected to the tank already I just want to connect it to the pivot which right here is supposed to be a check valve one of these guys right here this one's broken i got a new one here that i'm going to replace it uh this looks very old and brittle i hope i can at least unscrew that and take it out but i guess we'll see what happens and then we'll put this one in there and then i got to connect the wires to the panel box and hopefully that this thing works hopefully there's not many seals out these things they can wear out and whatnot there's seals in here that can wear out so these these they cause a lot of problems but they're they're good when they work so I'm gonna see if I can get this running today yet and then I do want to turn on the water as soon as I can there's quite a few wells on this section here so I'm gonna fix all this first get this up and running at least and then hopefully by that time this pivot will be somewhat with the rose and then I'll be able to turn this on. Well, I got this piece out of there. Uh, this green check valve needs to go inside there. As you can tell, that's where the old one was in. But I just unscrew this out of there. That's not the right fitting, so I might need to get a new fitting like this. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take it back to the shop right now and I'm going to see if I can get that rest of that green stuff out of there. Maybe clean it up a bit, see if I can salvage this. If not, I have to get a new part like this. Alright, I was able to salvage it, clean it up quite a bit, so this will be able to fit in there really nicely. So now, just to see how these threads are, which these threads, they seem fine. I'm just gonna stick this guy in there. Yeah, that'll work. And then this guy just goes in right there. And that's gonna screw in just like that. And then connect the hose. And then time for the wire. All right, I think I got the wires connected correctly. I just have it connected to this reverse contactor. Electricity is off, but I have it connected to the reverse one. That way the fertilizer pump will only turn on whenever the pivot goes on reverse. So that way by the time it gets to this end of the field, since we're only fertilizing the peanuts, not the cotton on that side, then whenever it gets here, it's gonna go back on forward, then the fertilizer pump's gonna turn off and it's not gonna continue pumping fertilizer. So that's how I have it set right there. I'm just going to connect this 
turn the electricity on, and then wait for this pivot control to boot up. This is the field nut, this is how we connect it to our phone. And then I'm gonna put it on forward. Okay, so far so good. No, so far not good. It's still pumping and it's not supposed to. So something went wrong. That's putting it on reverse. Let's see what happens then. Oh, it's still going just the opposite direction. So I did something wrong. So now I gotta figure out how to do it the right way. It should have worked, I don't know why it didn't. Might have to connect it on the top. Oh, I don't know. I'll do some messing around and I'll see if I can figure it out. I don't think I don't think these pumps have a reverse and forward because it just turns around and then this piston kind of pumps it. So I don't think it has a right and wrong way to work as long as it turns but i could be wrong this might still need to turn one way or the other so i guess we'll guess i'll mess around with it and see if i can figure out the right way to do it all right so upon further investigation uh turns out i need an extra contactor in order to make it work the way i want it to but like this it will work that pump should be fine going reverse or backwards because I don't think it makes a difference. It shouldn't make a difference because it is just a plunger and it does just move this arm back and forth so it shouldn't make a difference whether it, it this motor goes reverse or backwards or forwards or backwards. So that part I'm going to leave that. Uh, whenever I turn the pivot on though, whenever I move it, whenever I'm walking it, then it's the pump is pumping. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to turn on all the wells, wait till the pivot has uh, water all the way to the end of the pivot. And then I'll start walking it 100% back straight with the rows. And then it'll just be pumping a little bit of fertilizer while it's coming back here and that part will be fine. And then once it gets here, then I'll put it to the desired speed to go all the way to this side. So that's the plan for now. So I'll leave this here. This should be fine. Uh, yeah, everything looks connected right, so I'll leave that. Close this up. Yeah, it should be good. And then I'll go turn on all the wells. I might actually, well, yeah, I'll turn on all the wells first, and then I'll go eat myself some lunch. And then by the time, because this pivot usually takes about an hour for it to finally have enough pressure. So I'll turn on all the wells, eat lunch, by that time it'll have enough pressure, then I'll start walking it this way. And then we should be good. And then we gotta do the same thing, just to another pivot. All right, about two videos ago, I was gonna fix a leak. And now I'll show you how I'm gonna fix it. Got the piece of rubber, got my post clamps, I'm going to fix that leak. So now you'll be able to see what I'm actually doing. We were going to fix it with that piece of metal right there. We were going to weld it on there, but that never stopped leaking water. We could never weld it. So now we got to patch it up like this before I can actually water this, this field right here. So I'm going to quickly fix this and I'll show you how I, how I did it. All right, perfect. Just got the rubber on there. Hose clamps are right around it. Now it's not gonna leak. Well, if you probably move the rubber, then it'll still leak a little bit, but as long as you leave it alone, it's not gonna leak. And we'll just, we'll fix that another day. We wanted to, which the, this bolt on here, that's just to hold it. But we were gonna put that on there and weld it shut. So we'll just do that another day. Leave that, leave that alone right there. And then, Fix that another day and I'll continue turning on wells, which I actually need to turn on this one. There you go. I gotta turn on one more well right there on the field. Then I'll go eat myself some lunch. It's already 1.30, so a little bit overdue. So now that there's water all the way to the end of the pivot, besides that end tip, of course, I need to still open that. I'm gonna, now, I'm gonna now put this guy on forward. Yes, it's gonna pump fertilizer, 
but I put it on 100% so it's gonna go so quickly it's gonna put very little bit of fertilizer on there that and I don't even think it's primed yet there's probably still tons of air in the line so it's probably not really working looks like there's a little leak there but that's fine it's just a plug so I'm gonna I guess I'll help, help it out a little bit get a little bit of this air out of the lines then I'm gonna open tips first while the pivot's walking with the rose and then once the pivot gets straight here with the rose then I'll make sure that it's actually pumping I'll make sure I'll, to get all the air out of there and also to make sure that it has pressure enough to put it into the pivot so I'm gonna walk along here now and open tips I do got my rain suit on again Looks like this first tip is closed. Looks like there's another couple of them there. So yeah, I'll open a few tips, which that one's actually, that one's good. Just guess just gotta move it a little. Yeah, you should be good. Open more tips. This one looks like it's also good. Yep, there you go. It's one thing about wobblers that the tips can be open, but you just wiggle them a little bit and then they, start working good they need they can work with low pressure but ideally if you have a little bit more pressure then it's always good and that also sounds very loud i wouldn't be surprised if that's going to go out one day another tip closed much better and now to walk back to the pivot it's only about a quarter mile, we're fine. Pivot's moving. It's a little bit of an older one, but it still works. Oh, it doesn't need too, far, too much further and we should be good. And back at the pivot. Guess I'm gonna start priming this hose, make sure all the air is out of there, make sure it works, and then, uh, then I guess wait. All right, this pivot is just about straight with the rows, so I'm gonna turn it off here in a couple seconds, I think. It's moving. Yeah, I think that's about good. So I'm gonna turn it off here. Now I'm gonna let it just water here for a second, but I wanna fix this first. This clock doesn't look like it's working because it's supposed to be about 10 pounds on the line and that does not look like it's working. So I'm gonna quickly change that. I always keep a spare clock in my truck. I do also need my ranch with also my spare clock. We tend to go through a lot of these. So I like to keep at least one on one on hand every single time. All right, we're fertilizing peanuts. I adjusted this pump. I opened it up all the way. Basically, I just adjusted that arm right there. So now it's moving as far back and forth as what it can do. Now, they are quite old. They're supposed to do about 30 gallons an hour. But they're more they're doing more like 25 maybe 28 max about 25 gallons per hour i also tightened that hose up there it was leaking a little bit so i tightened it now it's not leaking anymore i'm really glad that that this, that this thing is working for not using it for about a year i'm glad that this is not all rusted completely rock hard and i'm surprised that it's still working moving smoothly so no issues here this thing is still working it's, the pivot is now going on reverse. Now we're pumping all this fertilizer onto the field in about 36 hours. It's gonna be back on this side and then we want to, the cotton doesn't need, doesn't need water right now. So we're gonna, once the pivot is on this side, we're gonna send the pivot back around that side, but we're gonna turn off the fertilizer for the second time because we only need to do one shot. We don't need to do more than that. So this is all good and running. And uh, now I'm gonna go do another pivot. Yep, just finished setting up another pivot with fertilizer. And it sure is a hot one today. 
it is 103. It's what my phone shows and it's actually what my truck shows too, so it's it's pretty hot. We we just turned on this pivot here, is what you saw earlier. I'm only putting down about uh, about half an inch. So it's only watering about half an inch. And I'm now going to go to the pivot. Still still driving, so I'm gonna go to the pivot now. And I'm gonna double check to make sure it's still pumping fertilizer. Been pumping for about two and a half hours now. And it should have pumped about, I'd say, anywhere between 50 to 75 gallons is what it should have done. So I'm gonna check up on it now, see how accurately it's doing, see if I need to change it, see if I need to speed it up or slow it down or anything. And then we'll see if I need to make some modifications. All right, so for driving about two and a half hours, it was sitting here earlier at about 1,100 gallons. Now we're a little bit under 50 gallons. So by that, I think we're pretty close. Uh, I could see if we could maybe pump a little bit more of it, which then we could, I could probably just slow down the pivot a little bit. I might do that. I will check up on it again tomorrow morning. I think for now we'll leave it alone. And then tomorrow morning I'll check up on it, see if I need to make any adjustments. But for now I'll leave it alone. We'll see what tomorrow brings, but... I guess we'll see how long this video gets. Maybe I'll film some more stuff tomorrow. Alright, so real quick before I'm gonna end the video. I'm here the next day, checking up on this pivot again. I'm gonna see how many hours it drove since yesterday. We started it about 3.30 yesterday, and it's about 9.30 now. So it's done a total, uh, what would I say, about 18 hours in total that it has driven. And I want to now calculate how many gallons are left. We started off at 1100 and so now we have about 750 in there. So I'm going to do the math, see how much fertilizer it used, and then I'm going to see how much I need to adjust or if I need to slow down the pivot or speed up or anything like that. That way we're putting the right amount of fertilizer that we're supposed to put on here. So it's not quite putting down as much as I'm wanting it to. So I'm going to just slow down the pivot since that's already wide open. I have to slow down the pivot to where it's going to take a little bit longer for it to reach to this end. And then it'll be putting down a little bit more fertilizer. And then before I leave here, I'm also going to double check this. I'm going to squeeze this hose again. Just making sure that it's still making pressure. And it is. The hose is moving. Yeah, and I can hear it going into this check valve here. So, yep, we're good. All right, I'm going to make a few more adjustments here. Uh, I think I'm going to do it on my phone because then I can see the hours on how long it's taking. Uh, well, it's not connected, so I might have to do something anyway. Anyways, I'm going to slow down the pivot. But this is going to be it for this video. We're going to continue fertilizing our peanuts. We got... Two more pivots to turn on a day, maybe a third, and then maybe a couple more tomorrow. So that's gonna be it for this video. I do appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all guys in the next one.